gentlemen, welcome to Drinks Undressed. Uh, the phone has been ringing literally off the hook with people asking me to show them how to make a nice summer cocktail using sparkling wine, champagne, carver, prosecco, whatever you've got in the fridge. So I'm gonna show you probably one of my favorite easy, simple summer sparkly cocktails. The ladies love it, the guys love it, and it couldn't be easier to make. We're gonna start off with a can of peach slices in syrup, in their own natural juices. Uh, which is going to add, you've got obviously got the, the, uh, the fruit in there which is going to give you the flavour and you've got the syrup there which is going to give you the sweetness and it could not be easier. If you can open a can then you can make this cocktail. So we are going to pop the lid off that one. Oh, if you can open a can, there we go. Alright, so take the whole can, dump it right into your blender, peaches, syrup and all, everything in there. Right. And we're just going to blitz that nice and gently. All right, so you blitzed up your canned peaches in syrup. Oh, the smell, it just smells like summer already. Bingo, look at that. Nice and beautiful consistency. Now we're gonna make it the old fashioned way, which is to make it in a, in a mixing glass. This is just a pint glass. You can steal one of those from your local pub if you've had a few beers. I'm sure most people have. So um, about an ounce and a half. Uh, I normally like to go with one part puree to five parts of your bubbly wine. Now I make it in here, because you could try making it in here because of the shape of the glass, it's very narrow, it's a very tight space to work with. Once you pour the, the bubbles on top of the uh, fruit acidity, you tend to get a big eruption, which you're gonna see. You do it in here, you're gonna end up with a handle sticky covered in wasps. So, we're gonna open our bottle of champagne. So a lot of people, a lot of people are nervous when it comes to opening sparkling wine. There's nothing really to be afraid of here. Keep your thumb over the top of the over the top of the cork. Undo the cage. Just keep your thumb over the top there. You can rest it on your knee. They don't like to do that in like fancy restaurants, but whatever. We're not in a fancy restaurant. We're on a patio. So, thumb over the top, hand over there, and then just twist the bottle gently. You'll feel it starting to move. No need to take the cage off because if you take the cage off, you're actually it's going to be you know the cork might just fly out or, or you might not get a good grip on it. The cage actually works as a little grip. There we go. Nice little pop. Hold it to the side, that's going to help the old gases escape and the fresh air get in without losing all of, all of your lovely bubbly. And then we're just going to pour that on top of there. See how it erupts, like I said? Now if you were to do that in there, in your glass here, you might have a problem. You'll be there top topping it up for about 20 minutes before you get a full drink. Now what you do, is give that a little stir. Okay, that smells amazing. Such a, such a wonderful combination here of the peach, Goes with the nice yeasty bready notes from the uh, from the uh, sparkling wine that we've got here. Then we're just going to stir that in there, whip that up, and then carefully, carefully, carefully transfer this over to your champagne flute. The UT. Look at the colour on that as well. It's just like golden sunset right there. All right. And there you have it, a super, super easy two minute Harry's Barbellini all the way from Venice. This one goes out to my mate Benny, who is desperate for me to show him how to make a lovely Bellini. All right, there we go, look at that. Have a little taste of that, gorgeous. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Join me next week, because I'm going to show you the easiest way to make fresh, fresh grenadine. Uh, pretty much from scratch. Takes two minutes again in a blender, or you could do it on the stovetop if you don't have a blender. Uh, and then we'll show you a nice little easy cocktail you can make using fresh grenadine. All right, see you next week, Thursdays.